Hey, what's going on, people? This is a query that I get all of the freaking time. Yo, Glendon. Hey, I got something going on. I need to make some side cash. Uh, I need to pay a bill. I need to pay the car payment. Oh, you know, I'm about to get evicted. I need to learn how to make money online fast. Oh, by the way, I have absolutely no money to pay you, but I'm looking to make five to ten thousand dollars per month within the 90 days. What do you have for me? I'm just being silent because this happens all of the time. Essentially, what people tend to do is they get in a financial jam and then they start looking for solutions versus preparing for dry times before they come. Essentially, this is the truth about making money online fast. There are techniques. There are ways to do it. You can make 10000 in a month. You can make 20000 in a month. You can make 30000 in a month. But the information that you would need to do that, you can't buy because you don't have no money, Tony. You have no money, Tony. So essentially, I want you to ask yourself this question. And this is a template that you can use to gauge on whether an online offer is authentic or not. I have a course, 30 days to $2,500, Hustling Craigslist. And they actually make a claim of making you know, maybe a thousand dollars a month, up to twenty five hundred bucks a month. Very reasonable. Are you getting rich? No, but you're making money. Now, I'm not going to tell you, hey, for only ten dollars, you can make a million bucks a year. I don't have those kind of powers. If I did, I wouldn't be here on YouTube. I would be in Bali with some gorgeous woman or two with fans, and they're bringing me tropical drinks every day as I walk on the sand or, you know, work out on the sand and do well, whatever. But what I'm saying is let go of the fantasy. If you want to make money online, prepare yourself for a long and arduous journey. Typically, this is why third party sites such as eBay, Amazon, Etsy are so popular because they already have some of what you need there. But the real truth of the matter is expect to spend six months to 18 months building your online business. Now, here's a few tips. Once you start, you must reinvest all profits until you get to a certain level. Making money online, like I said, six months to 18 months. When I started Conundrum Publishing, I didn't make any money for literally six going on seven months. When I say no money, not money, not some money, small money, but no money, because when I started in that summer, I was working on the product, which was the book. So there was no money for a very long time. And one of the things that has led me to create new products, like the Udemy courses, they're quick, they're easy, you can get in, get what you need, get started, and they're very economical. Uh, Hustle University, that's more the long form stuff. That's the stuff that's gonna take time. That's the stuff that you will have to build. You won't do it in six months. You won't, you may, it's going to take you about a year. And that's one of the reasons that I created very flexible financing offers for Hustler University. Because as you get the knowledge, you implement the knowledge, it's going to take you some time to do. And this is something that I have a lot of information and data on. I've looked at people, and there's some folks here on YouTube, there's folks in various groups that I've been able to watch, track, and see their success over the years. Not just a few days, not a few months. And it's really interesting. And this is some I see someone who will come in a group and just become a sponge and just absorb everything. And within two to three months, they're doing okay. And then six months, they're doing really okay. And then you're like, you know, a year later, you're seeing these twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar payout screenshots. Or you're seeing people who are posting their eBay stuff. And but the whole thing is. There's a critical component that people are trying to get around that is really going to hamper their success. Sacrifice, effort, and work. I, I can't get you around that hump. I can actually flatten that learning curve, you know, versus the learning curve being like this. A learning curve can be like this. It can be like this. Or it can be like this. So, you know, you're just kind of going over speed bumps versus you've got to climb this sheer grade. And for that, I charge a pretty penny. I make no apologies for that because one of the things that I said when I created Hustle University, you know, and it, it was kind of the name Sparta 300. If I can get 300 people who were really committed to building something, changing their lives, doing well, I was good. I don't need thousands or hundreds of thousands of millions. I really don't. So that is something that I'm really tightening up on because if you want to make money 
online, there are several ways to do it. You can do it selling stuff. You can do it through affiliate marketing. You could do it through YouTube. You could do it through iTunes. There are so many ways, but all of them have a very similar beginning process. You're not going to know what you're doing. You will make mistakes. You may or may not spend a lot of money on bad decisions, and there's a learning curve. I don't care what you do. I don't care if it's niche websites. I don't care if it's affiliate marketing. There is a learning curve, and there are many of you who feel that you could figure it out without spending a dime. And that's part of your, I'm going to say a weakness, because if you think that you could figure everything out all by your lonesome, or you can go to these groups and you're going to get to a certain level, I have a, a word of warning for you. You are going to max out and top out very quickly. Typically, and this is something else from being in this space and seeing people, I'll see people who were business folks from other avenues of life. They were maybe wholesalers. They had a store. Then they come in and then they're knocking it out. And people are like, wow, you know, you're really knocking it out. You're really fast. And they're looking at the platform as being the reason with little regard to the personal's the person's experience and work history prior to them jumping onto that platform. The guy who did a million dollars in FBA sales by himself. He has a 20 year career in selling stuff. 20 years. He knows more stuff than mo many people. I mean, he's forgotten stuff that a lot of people never know. He's got two decades of experience. And then there are people who are trying to replicate what he did without the experience level. And they're like, well, this is not working out because Peter Thiel, or the, the one of the PayPal founders, he put out something. All businesses that grow rapidly have a secret. They have a you know, unique selling proposition. They have something special. That's the reality. So if you go into a group and you trade information and the information is pedestrian, which means it's not special, it'll make you money for a short period of time and then it's going to drop because everyone's sharing the information. Everyone's putting out the best practices. I saw this in the storage auction business. Actually, the storage auction business is still a good way to make money, but it's by no stretch of the imagination of what it was when I was doing it. I'm seeing shitty units go for three, four, five, six, seven hundred bucks. Units that I paid five dollars for, ten dollars for, are actually got for free. So the profit margin has been drastically reduced. It took it happened longer than I thought it would, because I thought, you know, because it's still viable. There's still people kicking it, but it's not what it used to be because everybody knows the secret that if you show up, that you get a good room, everyone knows the secret. And that's one of the things that really is very interesting about the online world. And this is one of the reasons that I have my private video site. I have stuff in Hustlers University that will not come on YouTube or any other site unless it's also private and locked down. And there's a reason for that. Because the people who are paying for that information, I want them to give as much time as possible for them to make money with the information before it's filtered all over the internet, which could be the way that I hope, the way that I'm locking down, maybe a decade. And essentially, everything gets out. But if I can keep doing what I'm doing, because it's going to get harder to get into Hustlers University after this year, because... I, you know, once again, going by data, just looking at stuff. And I'm also telling you because I make money online. And I'm actually telling you how to make money online. You have to have something special. Now, if you become a commodities broker and you're selling the same thing that everyone else is selling, you're going to be a victim of downward pricing. The more people come in the market with that item, the lower the price goes, unless you can somehow manufacture that item and do it for coming at a wholesale level. So, Essentially, what I'm saying is, it's the end of the year, you're fat off the turkey or the sushi or whatever you had, sit down and be real with yourself. If you want to make money online, sit down with a piece of paper and say, okay, I'm going to give myself a year to make some money online. Not a week, not, not a few months, but I'm going to give myself a good, solid year of application. Also, the second thing you're going to do, I'm going to reinvest all profits from that business for the first year to give it a fighting chance at being successful. Because another thing that kills business is you want to start a business and eat off the plate immediately. That's going to kill you. The business will never get as big as it can because you're not reinvesting the profits or dividends back in the business. So it immediately gets, because if you notice, a lot of people keep saying the same numbers here on YouTube and forums, kind of like stuck to just because 
they didn't prime the business for growth. They didn't create an infrastructure. They didn't do these things because they were eating off the plate too soon. You cannot eat off the plate the first day. If you have profit, it needs to go back in the business. And that's what's killing people because they're like, J.G. Wentworth, I need my money now. I got to buy some shoes. I got to buy, you know, get a new tire. I got to I got to put a roof on my house. That is stuff that you should plan for because if you own a house, that shit's going to happen. If you have a car, you know you got to get tires. You should have an automobile expense account for that stuff. So when it's time to get tires, there's money there for that stuff versus say, JG Wentworth, I need my money now and I need to panic. And I'm going to send Glenn one of these emails like, hey, you know, I don't have a lot of money, but I want you to give me a lot of your time, energy, and effort for nothing so I can get some money. And then once I get out of this jam, I'm going to completely forget who you are. <laughs> Because once the pain is gone, there's no reason for me to be around anymore. And that's really short term thinking. And I'm not saying everyone's like that. It's just when I get those emails, I, I just giggle because I'm like, they don't really understand. I mean, the fact that you're sending me that email, it lets me know that your financial house is on fire. And I am not a fireman. I don't have any hoses. I don't have any uh, helicopters with big buckets of water to douse the flames. At some point, you may have to let that bitch burn down and build new. Yeah, I said that you may have to let it burn down and start from new because as long as you keep doing these same things, making these same money decisions of you never have any money because you're always robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're always it's you're never going to be able to start a business you can start at some point. You're going to have to put in some discipline and sacrifice. So that's the truth about starting a business, making money online. It can be done. But what really messes up most people is they want to do it in a matter of days or weeks and then, you know, be on the yacht with, uh, you know, what bubbles to chimp, hanging out with some crocodiles, you know, riding sharks, playing with dolphins and stuff like that, while the business is just putting money in their pocket without them putting forth an almost maniacal level of effort to get the business built. Google, PayPal, eBay. Amazon, Facebook, Dropbox, all of these companies had an insane level of effort going into them in the beginning stages when they were making little to no money. And that's how they became the billion dollar companies that they are today. You're not going to get to a billion dollar status with, you know, W2 Mindstat. It's not happening. It's just not happening. People hate it when I say that, but the whole deal is as long as you keep trying to do your business as if it was a job. Uh, I need some benefits. Uh, I need to get paid this per week. Uh, I need X amount of days off. You're deluding yourself. I mean, you might work on your business three or four years with no days off just to really get it to a certain respectable point. And it may not even be a million dollar business. It may be a business that, you know, does 300,000 a year, puts 200,000 in your pocket, which is a great living. It's an awesome living, even in New York or California. That's a great living. But, you know, I know people are going to like, well, you know, it ain't enough. I live in New York. I need to make 500000 I live in California. That'd be neat. But for most people with average desires, average wants, you know, good place to stay, decent vehicle to drive, money for their whatever their kids need, that works for most people across the nation. And that's something that most of us can aspire to with time, effort, and ability and discipline. So, that is your truth about how to make money online, how fast you can do it. Forget about fast. Think long term. Think, hey, if I start today and I don't stop and I learn from my mistakes and I reinvest my money in business, maybe three years from now, this business is doing 150000 a year, 200000 300000 400000 maybe a million. To me, it's worth it. Because how many of you went to college for four to six years and you are working at Starbucks? Just saying. All right. So for the folks who stayed this long, there is no funny talk because that didn't that wasn't supposed to happen. Everything that is current, everything that I'm offering, plus discount codes and stuff, are under the video. Now, this is the new thing. Uh, if you stay here this long, I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna announce it later, but I'm gonna do this new course called No eBay, No Amazon, More Money. And I'm going to go through all the steps that I helped the three clients actually reduced their dependency. One person reduced their dependency on eBay by 90%. 
10% of last month's revenues came from eBay last month. 10%. At one point, they were 100% eBay top heavy. That was roughly the beginning of the year. So it took about 10 months to get to that point, which is still pretty fast. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do this course and we'll talk about that whole process, what we did with him. No, I'm not telling you what he's selling. Once again, that goes back to keeping my client's information confidential um, and secret. Because if you do a consult with me, I'm not going to go out here on YouTube and go, well, this is what so-and-so is doing. And this is where they're, because I know where my clients get their products. I know their price points. I have to know that stuff to help them. And I'm not going to turn them out to get a few pennies. You know, that's just stupid. So we're going to go through that process. That's going to be the new course. You are getting in early. Um, what I'm going to do, because there's three things. And, you know, since it was the holidays, I did a few, I changed up some stuff. Uh, remarkable self-confidence starts tomorrow. You'll get that. You'll get hustling Craigslist and you'll get 30 days to 2,500 how to sell stuff online. So you're going to get all three of those. Now, this is a test. This is only a test. If this is real life, you could die. But I'm going to do that, all of that for $75 pre-sale pricing because the no eBay, no Amazon, more money. That's going to start next week because I'm not, you know, get back, get all these other courses done. So it's 75 bucks today. Also, this is something that I'm doing. Once the pre-sale is over, I'm not honoring any emails. I get people who email me a week later. It's like, hey, you know, I just found this in my spam folder. Uh-huh. No. So if you miss out, you know, you miss out. Because I have to be respectable to my craft. I have to be respectable to you. So if I'm just like, hey, 75 bucks, and then, you know, it's like, okay, we'll do 50, this, this. Once the pre-sale is over, because I extended it for the holidays, because I never stopped it. But once I stop it, it's a done deal. So today is Tuesday. So this is going to go on until probably Sunday, because some new and snazzy stuff is popping off Monday. A lot of stuff's happening. So... 75 bucks you get in first you will be the first to know about it. My, my email list won't even know about this because i'm also running a test to see how many people make it to the end of the video and if you make it to the end of the video i want you to put in the comments booyah b-o-o-y-a-h nothing else don't say anything <laughs> don't say what's at the end of the video just put booyah and you just laugh because you're one of the few people that actually know what it means and if only one person makes it in the video cool too cool whatever because like i said i'm tightening this stuff up i'm really pushing it hard so that's your deal that's your special so you get 30 days to 2500 you get hustling craigslist and you get no ebay no amazon more money some serious knowledge that i think i might be stupid for doing it for 75 bucks but then again i may not we will see all right so this is glendon i'll see you on the good side and remember booyah B-O-O-Y-A-H. Drop that like it's hot.